What up, boys? It's your boy, Nigel Appleton, coming back at you. It's been a while, ladies and gentlemen, but today we rise again. Can I just say, you are looking beautiful today. You are looking lovely. You are looking phenomenal. Just on point. What can I say? Uh, you may be asking, Nigel, where have you been? It's been so long since you last uploaded. Well, the answer is, I kind of forgot about my little YouTube channel with, like, three subscribers, which I humbly adore you guys. You guys are amazing. You guys brighten my life. You don't even understand. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so I thought, you know, the best way to start this off was to share a little story with you. This little story is called the McDonald's Heist. Now, you may think, McDonald's Heist. What is the McDonald's Heist? Well, let me explain to you something. The McDonald's Heist was a heist that I carried out with a few friends of mine. Way back in 7th grade, when I was on the mock trial team. Now, mock trial, if you didn't know, is where you go in, you pretend to be lawyers and judges, attorneys and witnesses and stuff like that. And then, boom, bing, bong, you kind of get ready to be a lawyer in the future if that's what you're interested in. So, I, of course, like this because I've always been interested in being a lawyer. So, I've been doing mock trials since I was younger. Uh, and it just so happened that... Um, this year we made it to regionals. And what do we do when we go to regionals? We go to a hotel. Now, where was this hotel located, you may ask? Smack dad in the middle between Taco Bell and Mickey D's. So, your boy, your chubby boy was happy. I was happy. I was excited. My stepmom had given me like $20. I was going to spend it on some bomb ass food. I did. I got some of that, those, uh, you know, those little like, uh, like buns from like, uh, you know, Taco Bell. Uh, wait, no, not Taco Bell. Wait, was it Taco Bell? Yeah, Taco Bell. You know those little buns, like those little uh, Cinnabons that are filled with that, like, cream? Mm! It's nice, bro. That's epic. I very like it. Um, so I had those. But that's not where the story takes place. The story takes place one night after a long day of mocking, as we call it, where we, you know, we go in, we pretend to be lawyers and such. And, uh, you know, things were going well. Um, and uh, we were eating some uh, Taco Bell. And my coach... Uh, Miss Michelotti, if you're out there, you're epic. Uh, she was like, hey, you know what? What Could someone volunteer to get me some McDonald's? I want a chocolate smoothie. So we, me and, um, me and, uh, Avery, he's, he was my boy back in the day. He moved now, but he was a real, he was a, he was a real one. If you know what, he was a real one straight from the heart. He was a weird, real one. Um, me and Avery. And then we had, uh, uh, my boy Kale, who's still here, and who I'm gonna be doing some more mock trial with. Me and him and Avery, all, we raised our hands, just, we were like, we're the boys, we're the freedom fighters. And then she was like, okay, you guys can go get me some McDonald's. So we went to the McDonald's, we made a little hike, we, we had a little trek from Taco Bell past our hotel to the McDonald's, but then we noticed something, a little strange. The inside of the McDonald's was under construction, so that was problem one. We need to find a way to get past the construction and get that smoothie, baby. And I already have money, so I was like, you know what? Frick it. I'm going to get some chicken nuggets today. Um, people were going to get some other stuff. So we decided, you know what? No, we're not getting up. We're going to walk through the drive-thru because at the time we were like 12 and 13 and 14. So we didn't have any money. Money? Or no, car. We couldn't drive a car. We had money, uh, but not very much of it. So we went around back and we walked through the drive thru. We got out to the window after a little while, and the lady's like, "I'm sorry, but I, you can't, you can't come through here. You see, this place is for cars only." And we're like, "Why can't we just order?" I don't understand. We didn't say that obviously because we were, we didn't want to, you know, hurt anybody's feelings. We didn't want to be little jackasses. So we had to cut, get a little creative. We had to get a little creative. We thought about it for a little while. We wanted to give up, but no. We ain't giving up, boy. We ain't giving up. Uh, we found a we found a van with a mom and three of her children in it, and we were like, "Hey, Mrs., can you buy us some food?" She was like, "And this is already past. Like we had already stopped, flagged down two cars, and this this lady, she was uh she had three kids. She looked like she had a hard day at work. We were like, three punk ass kids coming over, gave her some money. We we're like, can you buy us some food? Because and we told her the order, and you know." Uh, it was epic. We went over to wait by the front uh, of the McDonald's. We were like, oh, shit, is this going to work? Is this going to work? Is she just going to ditch? Is she just going to steal our money? And so we were kind of freaking out. And, you know, it took a while. And I was like, did, did her car already pass? And eventually her car rode up. And 
she rolled down her window and held out a bag like a freaking like it was the end of the mission bro the end of the mission in gta bro so we ran over we grabbed the bag and we were like bro mission accomplished heist pass what can i tell you bro we got the bag literally uh so then we went back to taco bell we gave her the bag and we were like she was like wait this is a strawberry i asked for a chocolate and we were like bro we just spent all that time all that energy we freaking did the mcdonald's heist and we just we just got absolutely wrecked but that's okay cause i don't know if it's me or someone else drank this movie uh that's just one of the many stories that's going to be coming on this channel soon boys uh just just stay strapped in of course the video's not over yet what do you think i am holmes cringe i ain't cringe boy uh well, you'll see there's gonna be some more content okay there's gonna be some more content so you guys know that thing like that one youtube channel that's all like iced out where they like uh you know they uh do the they like, rate the celebrities jewelry well i thought i would do that for me though boys let's check out this thing you see this bad boy i got this for christmas all right i'm not actually a christian i'll actually i i've been a christian in the past i don't consider myself christian anymore although i got this for my grandma so you know you can't really take it off if you get it from a grandma. It's just factual. You really can't take it off. Now look at that. Look at that thing. You can see that. Look at that. And it looks dope as heck. I, I, it's stainless steel on the back. You can see. Uh, let's let me just focus. Just, come on. Come on. Okay, well, you should have to trust me that says stainless steel. Um, so, that's the drip check. I'm drippy. What can I say? I'm just really epic. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a legend. Um uh what else uh what else is happening uh you want to see some other cool stuff um i got this uh this stuff for christmas aquarius black from my uh for my for my aunt very epic it smells like uh smells just makes me smell fresh and manly um what can i say you know i'm just legend uh so yeah boys uh that's about it for this uh for this return video there will be more soon just wait for it mother fruper see you guys later Peace out, boys.